packages. Let's drop off the packages. Oh, there's a Santa. Okay. Looks like there's babies here. Knock softly. Oh. Welcome to the Chatwin House Tour. I have some packages for you. Can I come in? Sure, come on. Hi, in. how what's your name? Uh, Gemma. Gemma. Okay, let's go. Hi. How are you? Good. Okay guys, here it goes. Pia and you'll meet our Yorkie right there. She's a whopping three pounds. Alright. Following. Here is her living room. Welcome to the house. Let's start. starting in our entryway. Welcome. <laughs> this is my precious fiddle leaf fig who the famous fig. It has seen good days, bad days. These babies are kind of hard. They're hard to keep alive, but we're doing our best. He needs a little pick me up right now, but <laughs> he's doing good. <laughs> Would you like to go up? Oh, let's see. Yep, let's go up. We have our chandelier, which when we were building, we found this one on overstock, much better price. Much but better. We were building this house. We were building this house. But grandma <laughs> helped us. Uh huh. Grandpa this helped house, us. Because this house, like, this is a water work. Yeah, so <laughs> Papa helped us. As most of you know, um, Papa Chatwin is Chatwin Homes and he builds custom homes. <laughs> so when we got engaged, we bought this lot and we started planning this house. So we got to pick out like, literally everything from like grout, floor, lights, like room, everything. So we did that about seven years ago. It's like the most fun process. We had so much fun doing it and I love it so much. And we get asked a lot if this is like our forever home. Probably not. I would say it's perfect right now. While the kids are little, when we first built it, we're like, why did we do so many rooms? Like it's just the two of us. Now we know, we filled them up very quickly. But I think once the kids get a little older, we are like itching to build again because it's just such a fun process. There's so many little things that I want to change and style changes over seven years. So when we first built it, I was way more glam, as you'll see, with our lighting around the house. And it's kind of transitioned. We do love this home. Okay, hold on one second. For those that are new to the channel, what is that? What is that? We're having baby number five, but we love this home so much and it's been so great and we are not planning on moving anytime soon. Let's go. Entry table is World Market. We still have our Christmas letters on the board. These vases I always get asked, they're from Target. These are Lux B Pompous Grass. Shall that is our entryway. What's up you guys, welcome. Little backstory for those that are new. So we have triplets. When we built this house, we thought it was way too big for us, but you guys will see quickly, we filled it in. <laughs> Fast with triplets, Gemma, and one on the way. And I am sporting the new Chat Fam official logo. When we get down to like the, the merch room, I'm gonna explain to you guys that are wondering how this signifies Chat Fam, so wait for that. The triplets are napping, so we're trying to get this finished while they're Gotta sleeping. Hustle. <laughs> Otherwise, it will not look like this. This whole console and the floating shelves custom made, because this is such a big space. We are loving these. We have toys, diapers, things hidden away in here. They're secretly hold every Everything. So this decluttered our house so much. Like, we have oh. all the diaper stuff in here, toys in here. Frame TV, which you can make look like a picture. I love it so much. So much. Then we got another one. And we have our Christmas tree <laughs> that is still up. It's not January yet. The decor that we have so far has just been found around our house. I haven't like purchased anything new to decorate our new shelves working so far. We just got this new Christ statue up here. Oh, I love this. My mom gave us one. She it, gave it to it the triplets for their birthday. big enough. We wanted it bigger, so I went and exchanged it for a bigger one, but. This tree is our favorite tree. We've had it for two years now. I'm backing up so you can see how tall it is. And it's Balsam Hill. They may be on sale now since Christmas is over. I know they were having some big sales right before Christmas. Balsam Hill. I put the tree up every year. It's all pretty late when you put the stack them on top, it lights up yeah, already. Yeah, push them together, they light up. You don't have to like find the yep. plug in and plug them all in. There's one plug. Just light in. This is like my most, oh. my most <laughs> requested stopped. link that I ever get is for these beanbag chairs. Kids love them. 
We've had them for so long now. Do you love them? <laughs> They're kind of losing their shape. We got them for Royal's room and the kids loved them so much that we've just kept them down here and never put them up in his room. So these are from Pottery Barn Teen. Candlesticks mm -hmm. are all from Target. And then this is my pride and joy. Oh, there we go. This is Ezra. Ezra. You say we named him. <laughs> Gemma named him Ezra when she was like tiny. It's so funny. They found this moose up the canyon by our house. They had to get it all checked out and make sure it died of natural causes, and it did. So they were able to keep it and sell it, and I wanted it so bad. So Derek surprised me with it as my push present for the triplets. So cool, we love it. Explain why there's a bolt. <laughs> Cause some people are like, what is that? Oh, so we have a bolt up above it that we have not taken down yet. We should have done it when we put him up there. We had a huge tall mirror. For those that have been following the vlog, you'll see the mirror. I put it somewhere else. You guys know that I play the piano, okay? Since I was eight years old, this is like my baby. Kara wanted like a small piano, went against the wall, but I grew up with a grand, so I wanted to have a baby grand. So this is a Yamaha and we wanted to go with white and I couldn't tell you, we were so happy we went with white. So this little baby down here is a silencer so that my babies are always sleeping. Dad? I can never play. What? I think I want to do maybe have a green piano. You want a green piano? <laughs> she wants a green piano. Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. When they're sleeping or late at night, that's when I can play or practice. Plug it in, you pull a lever, the keys don't make any noise, so it takes them off so that it doesn't hit. <laughs> and no one heard a thing. Wrap up the living room really quick. These couches are the Bradford sofas from Z Gallery. We got them when we first got married, so I actually don't know if they still carry them or not. I think Rugs USA. I need to find out which one it is. We can put it in the description. Very decent priced for the size of it, but it is not the best like quality. Like it's not fuzzy at all. It's the material, it's not like super nice rug. It you get what you pay for, but it's great for the triplets and for Gemma, and it's just like a fabric that's kind printed on so it's not soft or fuzzy at all and it's pretty thin it's cute and it does the job it hides it hides things that we, we need hidden we just got it we too. just got rid of a, a rug that we had that was a cream color just was not able to hang in this house right now no nope. so that's our rug and this is our <laughs> our four-year-old okay shh, the babies are gonna wake up here's like our very first home decor that we did when we moved in and didn't have any kids yet it's a little uh, outdated from the current house but it's up really so, high, so it's there. It's so outdated. It's our engagement pictures and wedding pictures. So maybe someday we'll get that with children on it. We were able to like match our wood here with our wood beams, and then when we built our custom media cabinet and shelves, they were able to match it to what we had picked for like, the house. So we tried to kind of tie it all in by using the same color wood. This is our dining table, and it is from down east home comes with this cute bed. We added the chairs from Crate and Barrel 2, CB2. We also have end chairs, but they are distributed here in the house right now. Yep, we don't know. Oh, <laughs> there's one Hold out on. there. And there's one I outside. There's one in the basement. Our kids, um, they're just kids. We have the kids' dining table. It's really fun. They just transition from their high chairs to like this little table and they all eat their meals together and it's really cute. This is from Pottery Barn Kids. They love sitting down, and I think our kids move from high chairs pretty quickly. You kind of wish they're in high chairs, it's easier, but they love to eat by themselves. Yeah, it's cute. And like a little thing. Light is from Z Gallery as well. This is more of your glam stage, remember? This is my glam, my glam stage of life. <laughs> but this light is one of my favorites. I love this light yeah, you so can dim much. It and it looks really pretty at night. One of my favorite spots in the house, the bookshelf. So we change out the books for like different holidays and seasons. And it's so fun for me and then I like it because the kids have like a new variety of books that they get super into and it explains like what holiday's coming up or what season we're going through. She's reading one right now. We just got that one today. We are a book family, the kids. And thank you guys for wanting this house tour in the first place because it made me clear off this desk dun, that is dun, the dun, death of me. Dun, dun. You guys know how messy this desk has been? This desk is like it's always just stacked. It's like where things get set when we come in or like boxes. Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy the desk. I have all of these books. Well, all of our seasonal books are linked in our Amazon shop. We have an Amazon shop where I just make lists of like things around our house that I like and I put all of our books, but I need to add all of our Valentine ones. But right now I have all of our Halloween and Christmas ones on there.
probably spend most of our time well, between these two rooms. We'll start with our stools. Very cheap. We went cheap on all this because of these kids. Those are from Target. I think most of our house is from Target. A lot of stuff from Target. So we have to lock our water or else Royal. And now Ren get up and they press the water thing. So the table is actually quartzite. We wanted to go with marble initially because it has the same look, but then my dad told us to go with quartzite because it's so much more durable. When you put a pot on it, it doesn't burn like marble would. It doesn't stain like marble does. It looks exactly the same almost. Highly recommend quartzite. Highly. So this is the fridge, but we're not gonna show you the fridge because it's not cleaned up. So we got all of our appliances from GE, so stove, dishwasher, microwave. What we love about the stove too is this is a, what's it called, convection? Yeah. So this is a convection stove. So it has special pots. You can only use on this. You can't use any pot. And it's, it uses some, I don't know, some weird technology. Like a magnetic. Magnetic technology. I think it gets hotter a lot quicker. And it cools off quick. It cools off insanely fast. Like when you're done boiling a pot, you can actually put your hand on it and you're not going to get severe burns. It's, it's like warm. So don't do that, obviously. <laughs> but it's really cool that it does that. And then we install like these light bars. They're just on a switch. Right here. But it's one of my favorite things to put in our kitchen. It lights up the subway tile. This is Kara's board. It changes every holiday. <laughs> gotten a little. She's gotten a little lazy because she's pregnant. So Halloween, it was boo. <laughs> this Valentine's, she went to be mine. <laughs> In the past, it used to be like whole phrases and songs. Yeah. Don't ever subscribe to anything on Amazon. We subscribe to gum. Oh my gosh, this is like two of five because we can't chew it fast enough. Anyway, Dylan, I have some gum for you. Comes too often. This is a Vivint ping camera. So I worked for Vivint for a long time. We have Vivint in our house. I'll show you a little more of that in a second. Here are my house plants. <laughs> Crazy plant lady. Just, they have like sprouted an insane amount. Like my friend gave me this and it was two teeny ones and they just keep having babies. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like us. I know. And then like a guy gave this to Gemma, remember at Park Silly? Oh, what happened to this poor guy? He's like He's this, just the leaning, leaning tower He's just of getting so tall. Cactiza. Same with this one. They're just getting so big. They just like are falling over. I have all of my clean Young Living things here. If you are a Young Living person, winter nights. It's been my obsession. Like I rub the lotion all over my whole body and it smells so, so, so good. I feel like it's a pregnancy craving right True now. True story, yesterday, Kara said, I'm gonna be so sad when they discontinue this because then I can't it's buy it It's a anymore. holiday scent right now. This is my favorite diffuser and I get asked about it all the time. It's from Young Living, it's called the Aria. It's just so pretty, makes the house look so homey. And you can change the light to like any color you want. You can do sound. Here's my oil. Oh, cabinet. I know. Now that you opened it, like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. This is Kara's Here's my oil cabinet. We've like been using oils for almost a year now on like everything. It's great. The kids love it too. So we switched over a lot of our stuff in our house to like non-toxic and just clean products, which is partly where the oils come from and then a lot of the Young Living products. I'm not gonna like get into it right now and I'm not like 100 percent totally over there like moderation in all things but i do have an instagram account that's essentially Kara. if you're interested in like the diffuser or getting into oils or any of that kind of stuff more pompous grass this is from lux b pompous as well she has so many to choose from target again and then the geode and this tray are both from home goods i bought this I love candles for display, but since I switched to oils, I like haven't even lit it. So. And this is where our three pound Yorkie gets all her food. It's a kid's little play kitchen. It's fun to have it by the kitchen because they can cook while we're cooking. Is Pottery Barn Kids. Geodes all over. <laughs> yeah. We love our crystals. Here's our laundry room, cubbies, our tiny little bathroom. And we have door locks on every door. We have gates everywhere. Oh, that's a baby hack. Tell them about yeah. them. There's actually a lock for a lever lock. We didn't know it existed. So we have those literally everywhere. <laughs> it's a necessity. So do you have lever locks? There's an answer for you. This is our teeny tiny bathroom. Our mirror is from World Market. The bathroom. I don't remember where these are from. <laughs> I ordered them online. More geodes. I think like Joss and Maine. This is where we keep our extra soap and toilet paper. <laughs> Extra beam in the kitchen, we just put oh, it yeah. on there. That's it. Oh no, you didn't show them the best part. The bidet. Oh my gosh. Favorite part is the bidet. Once you use a bidet, you will never not use a bidet. It's true. I've driven miles and miles to come home to go to the bathroom. Even Gemma, when we travel, she's like, I don't like this toilet. <laughs> she wants the bidet. The seats are heated, so they're like comfy to sit on. You feel real fresh and clean afterwards. We built that with the house that so has a water line, but you can get an add-on. We have Vivint Smart Home in our house. I feel not worked with them for a long time. Without question, like one of the things we use the most because all of our door locks, you can do it from your phone. We use these cameras. Alexa can control all the lights in the house all through the system. So I'm not gonna go into that either, except 
You guys can get free install, free activation, and a doorbell camera for free Dad? just by using our link in the description. Him? So go check it out if you guys want to get that. These are our kitchen and living room, and now we will head to the bedroom. And there's a balloon from Gemma's fourth huh? birthday party that's been up there for months. All my life, I give to you. Love breaks through, I'm never letting go. Never ceasing. It is the master bedroom. Come on in. We Ooh, did just show this I on a previous stain, vlog, man. so. Yeah, you guys have seen this whole vlog, but. This mirror is anthropology. Wait, hold on. Pia's looking at herself in the mirror. Oh, Pia, come here. <laughs> what I do have to say, I love anthropology, but it is bendy. A lot of their pieces are really expensive, but multiple times a year, they will have sales. They have 20% off kind of frequently, but sometimes they'll even have up to like 30% off of their entire website. And that is when you go in the nightstand. For the kill. The mirror. <laughs> like, the big pieces that you want is when they have their big sales. Otherwise, can't I just can't justify it. <laughs> Guys, Kara's wanted this mirror for so long like two too. Two years, I've wanted it for so long. And it once we got it down in our house, it's so awesome, so big. Yeah, like, he always has like a mirror and like he saw how big it was. He's like, are you kidding? But then he loves it. No, I love it. It's actually a huge piece. So go stand up to it. It's tilted, but to give you guys an idea. Seven feet, I think. Yeah, it's such a big mirror. It's a fun piece. We also just got this media cabinet. Also restoration hardware, so it matches our bed. We keep some blankets in here so it added some perfect space. <laughs> We're gonna keep baby stuff on the other side. Yeah, we'll keep some diapers over here. You guys saw from Christmas, Kara really wanted the frame TV in here because we did everything else and this this 80 inch TV is just too big, and... bulky, and not good looking. Since the frame came out, you realize like a TV turned off looks better than turned on, like you want that. Anyways, we got a 75 inch frame that we got. I haven't installed yet, it's in the office. And it'll go right here with the white frame. So we can have our family up here in our house, in our room. And we'll get rid of this. Put it somewhere else in the house. And now you guys can see where Kara and I get ready and clean ourselves. Let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> Always kiss me goodnight and I love you. Yes. Do my hair. We didn't put in plugs, so I can't like do my hair here. I plug in over here and stand here and do my hair. So there you go. So if you're gonna do a vanity, don't forget to put plugs in where you're gonna sit and like use your hot tools. So now it's just a baby stool to get into all of Kara's makeup every day. Yeah, you literally have to keep is. them out of this bathroom because they love it in here. The girls like to sit up here and get my makeup out. Then this is just left over from our kitchen, the quartzite. This is Derek's side with the double sink. My side over here, of course, with the winter nights. <laughs> so in lotion. The winter nights. <laughs> um, and then our rugs are Target. Our towels are Target. Everything Target. Target. Which I actually got these cool like palm leaves, dried palm leaves that are bleached to like put up here, you know, kind of change away from my glam vibes. We haven't changed it out yet. It's in the closet. So this is where I spend most of my time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So also a toilet with a bidet. A bidet. And you guys, I have to be just a quick salesman for a bidet. Tell me this. Some people don't believe in a bidet. I'm just going to make a quick analogy and it will sell it to you forever. You're walking down the street. You accidentally pick up on white wood, but you pick up dog doo doo. Do you go and get a towel and wipe it off your hand, or do you go wash your hands? Oh, you wash your hands. Okay, case closed. Go get a bidet. He really needs to be a bidet like salesman. I can't tell you. He like, tries to sell everyone on the bidet. Without question, the best thing in our house because it cleans, <laughs> it's like taking a shower. Anyway, walk in, shower. Got a special, special shower, shower head up here. We have speakers in here. We had speakers installed like, all throughout the house, but I love turning on music while I'm in the shower. So I don't know if I'm alone on that, but I love listening to music when I shower. This was a custom thing we did. Extra stuff we had and we put Need it- a little waterfall. Yeah, a little waterfall, but it looks, actually it looked really cool in here. To come this way. This is where, so you guys saw that with the triplets, we started bathing all of them, like do it in the sink. It's so easy in the sink. But now we do full baby bath time, all four babies at once in here. Did you just eat chocolate? Yeah. I said I nice sandwich. Say, this is Gemma who needs a shower, needs to take a bath. Now she needs a bath. 
So we had some extra fallen waterfall stuff, so we put it all right here. Yeah, you can't really tell on the green, but it's actually like really pretty raw stone. It's a little bit sparkly. It's actually like this really pretty like raw sparkly. Yeah, it's really cool. So we have it going around the whole edge. We put some right here. And it's missing a light bulb, so note to self, we need to fill that light bulb. Oh, and something I love to do when the triplets are taking a bath is spin it because it creates like this cool disco ball in our bathroom. Ball. <laughs> I love your outfit today. We'll do it after the house, okay? Now we're going in to the closet. <laughs> Hi, Kara. Here's our closet. It's not much to see. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually my just... My stuff is right here. Derek's stuff is all here. We got bags up here. Bags. We line the top with shoes. Here's one thing you need to know. Derek has more clothes than me and more shoes than me. He has all these shoes, plus shoes in like multiple closets around the house. Well, I'm just a hoarder, you guys know. But like we so. said, yeah, he's the hoarder and I get rid of things. <laughs> like even right now, I have so much stuff. I mean, like, I need Kara's to shoes are just right here. I still like, even looking at this, I'm like, I need to get rid of like half of those shoes. Yeah, I could get rid of almost everything in here. I, I don't wear it a lot, through. but I love collecting it. <laughs> and I love going through and like giving it away. Make sure you go get your new, that's the new Chat Fam logo beanie. We got some Chat Fam merch. Chat Fam, Daddy D. All right, let's go. Oh, let's see your room. <gasps> wow. So this is Gemma's room. Okay, show us real quick. Show us everything. Paper. Oh, we, we love had it. it for her nursery, then her we had staple to, item. We had to cover it, but it now it's magical because it's, it's in Ellie Cashman her design. Room. Just got her this big girl bed from Restoration Hardware, and that's where the canopy is from as well. And then I just got Amazon lights and we strung them around here. Her little dollhouse is Pottery Barn Kids. She got it for Christmas last year. Look at how magical her bed is in here. It's just like Yeah, her bed is it's so it's like fun. a mini house. I am so jealous of her bed. All of the kids like to just get in her bed. And then these are a design duo, and we have them for like what well, we had them for the triplets, and then the actual baby like we'll have the triplets one passed down but then they make doll size too they're so cute Little the babies always rock their babies are royal rocks his tractors he rocks and toys his, and yeah, cars. His cars and stuff in there this cute little bunny is pottery barn kids get all these cool signs from opal plus olive and she makes different ones that are like year-round or she makes all these seasonal ones that are really cool um she has like a lot of collaborations with different artists this is her little dresser and it has a changing table thing on top so you can put a changing pad right here this is from pottery barn Barn kids, restoration hardware, restoration hardware, baby and kids section. G for Gemma. G for Gemma. These are all like her nursery pieces still. Here is her shelf. Her dress of clothes, some toys, hats. It's not very organized right now. Not at all, but it's just kind of her stuff. Just there. Oh, her chandelier. Stuff. Part of the glam, the glam era. Restoration hardware. Restoration hardware. Gemma loves that thing. Has actually never worn pull-ups. <laughs> I don't know how long. I bought these when she was potty training, so when she was like two. Been sitting here for some. We have a squeaky board, so that's what that noise is. <laughs> this is the most magical part of her room. At night, these fairy lights just makes it look like straight from a fairy tale. Lucky girl is sleeping in Narnia over here. of Royal's room already, but here we go again for those of you who haven't seen it. We love this repetition. This is Royal's room. Yay. He is the only one with a toddler bed right now because he was climbing out of his crib over and over. And He's over and over. And falling and took, <laughs> took it off and put a lock on his door. Let's start with the art. Oh yeah, Men of Valor. These are our inspirational men of history. They are made by Madison Fisher's sister. Oh yeah. And their her shop is MZ Art. She has really pretty pictures in there that she does. We got Martin Luther King, Jr., Nikola Tesla, Mozart, and Da Vinci. Our wallpaper is from Loomwell and it is removable. You stick it on yourself. It's like super simple wallpaper. Of course, we love that it's temporary. So if you're yeah. in a rental, it's perfect. You're not like changing up. Oh, you saw that low team bubble? That's because I did that. So <laughs> I you did. can you can scrape out the bubbles. Cute little lion. This is my favorite piece in here. Lion, not sheep. It'll be 
in the description. Yeah, just we'll, copy Royal's whole room from that. We'll link whatever we can. So head there if you have a question about something. If it's not there, comment. We'll answer. The rug is like everyone's most asked question about his room is the rug. Yeah. West Elm. West Elm is metallic. His bed is a million dollar baby. The Abigail crib. Sarah Noni. Maybe baby. Sarah Noni. We each have a Sarah Noni. Everyone we in the house. We each have 12 Sarah Noni. Yeah, I say one, but we each have multiple. <laughs> no, we have multiple. Can't go um, without them. And then little unicorn, Target, all of his little cuddle and kind dolls. We have so many of these in our house. I They're love cuddle so and kind. Cute. The teepee and the wall hanger are both numero 74. We had to take a break to get the babies up. Okay. Had my sister watching them for a second while I finished this, so it's kind of dark. You guys, this is taking a long time. <laughs> Kara, it is the last day of the year. Yeah, we Remember? have to finish. We promised you guys in 2020 and we waited till the last day. <laughs> we have to finish oh it tonight, gosh. but it's getting dark now. It pushed us to do it though. We wouldn't have um, done it. We would not have done this. From Urban Outfitters, pillow is from Target. These signs this are the ones I was talking about in Gemma's room. Long so. live. Long live boy. boyhood. This is like so cute. And this is a gather mat. They're vegan leather. You can hang them, but what they're really for is like they're so good for messes. Like the beach, if you're doing crafts or under the table, or you can use it as a tablecloth. They have like so many different things. And they keep coming out with new home items. So now they have poofs. Oh, our advent calendar. Advent they have yoga calendar. mats. Like they have the coolest stuff and it's really convenient. But I like this to hang in this room. And you guys, this will be fun. We did this in the vlog where we showed Royal's whole room, but a world map. So we want to see where you guys are watching from. So put down in the comments where you're watching from. I want to see how many countries I can go through and count. If by chance there's someone in every country, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Something cool. Let's just see. Let's see first. Comment where you're from. Also, you guys know these wires. There's a reason why we have hanging wires. I actually taped them, but they fell. So Royal is just gets into everything like all boys do. So we couldn't have any of his camera or a sound machine plugged into a plug. It had to be high. So these all run outside. It's hanging over his door. <laughs> sound machine and his camera over here on the wall. So now he can't unplug them like he does every night. He's a light switcher. So now it lights off. Doesn't work. So now he will turn that light on and stay up playing for so long if, yep. we, if he can turn it on. So now in the middle of the night when he wakes up, tries to turn the light on, he's not up for two hours. He just, oh, it's too dark. It doesn't work. Goes back to bed. So on to the next room. This could be baby C's room. Um, it was Gemma's at one point when we were moving her out of her nursery. We were gonna make it her big girl room, but then she just loves that room so much with her wallpaper and everything, and she wanted to move back into her old room. So we kind of got started on this room. For her, these wall prints right here are Riley and Crew, which is like one of my favorite clothing companies, and they have a few prints on their website. This wallpaper, she was very into like stars and suns and moons when we were doing this room for her. So I got this at Anthropology. This is real wallpaper though, so it's not going we anywhere. Did. So this is professional, so we didn't do this one. And then we have a bunch of baby stuff in here because on Instagram, I did this whole like huge nursery giveaway and the companies sent me some stuff as like a payment for doing this giveaway with them. We have all the stuff that we will need. All the stuff. Those My things. mom wants us to put this downstairs in her room so that she can rock the baby and take the kids down there and read them books and stuff. <laughs> There's more cuddle and kind dolls. We have so many of those. Awesome and stroller. No, I'll probably be giving things, some of this away because- Most definitely. I'll just use our old strollers. We're not, we don't need we're a new not stroller. keeping that stroller. These rugs are really cool. They're at Pottery Barn. I know they sell them at Pottery Barn Kids, but they actually just like fold up and you can throw them in your washing machine, which is perfect for a nursery rug because who knows what's getting on that. Then this is our deck which if you follow the vlogs, you've seen many times. When it gets more dark, we'll come back out here. And we got the fire pit. We're getting the hot tub tonight. But I wanted to come out here before we lost daylight because I'll show you our tramp. We just got this like a few days ago. Kids absolutely love it. We love that we have horses. Oh, and cats everywhere. It's Mama Kitty. Feels like we have a whole farm, but all these horses and everything belong to our awesome neighbor right there. So we don't have to take care of them, but we can play with them. Move that bump! 
So this room, this is the girls' room, the little girls. Reese and Ren. They are the two-year-olds. This is it. This so is all on. like. So this is their wall. <laughs> this, this is, their, is closet. their closet. This is their wall. So as you can tell, it's 50% done. 50? <laughs> Less. We got them big girl cribs and they're gonna eventually be in toddler beds too, but they were just in mini cribs. So we did upgrade their cribs. These ones are new. This rug was in Gemma's room when we were making her, this her new rug big girl room. This rug is so cool. Yeah, it's, so they thick. love it. So colorful and fun. But we got it for Gemma's big girl Where room. Where did we she... get it? from anthropology. She ended up not being in there, so we just had it up here and it was perfect for the girls. Oh, we're gonna do a whole vlog on this room. We're gonna do like a big room reveal. We have the wallpaper downstairs. We have the cribs. We, we have, have the light. Some, oh yeah, we have a new light. We have new lighting going in. So we're gonna like redo this whole room. Um, well, actually, we're Finish going it. to do this whole room. We've never done it. We just haven't got to it yet because mama's been sick. Mama's been sick and they growing. can't their wallpaper up. It's so Growing cute. a child. We have dressers. They're in the, Landing. We didn't show the landing. Or no, not yet. So we have dressers in the landing with Royal. His was in his room, and when he started climbing out of his crib, he was opening drawers, and we didn't want to like tip or him to throw out all of his clothes every time he got up. Now we have like a landing of dressers. That's where their yep. dresser is too. Their cute cribs are from Crate and Barrel. Chair is. Uh, from Target and this is from I don't know Target. why I laugh every time it's Target. Why? It's like, I don't know. You wouldn't think you'd decorate your house with Target, but totally you can. They have good stuff. Yeah, they do. They're just like don't, more affordable than anywhere. Don't underestimate how much this girl loves Target. <laughs> this blanket is anthropology. I got it to go with Gemma's old room, old new room that she didn't want. <laughs> Check back on the channel for the room reveal of Reese and Ren. They're so cute sharing a room. Yeah, they are. They, like, they love sharing a room and we always hear them like squeaking and laughing and yelling to each other. In fact, you guys want a quick clip of what nap time is like. Here you go. And when we first set these cribs up, they were toddler beds. <laughs> with them sharing a room, they would get in each other's bed together and like jump on the beds. They were like chasing yep. each other around so, the room. I spent a good two hours putting that back on and this back on, so. Yeah, they were not easy. They don't climb out of their cribs like Royal does. Yeah, really quickly, this is our landing. Here's a Royal's dresser. This is the girl's dresser. This was Gemma's changing pad. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> baby Gemma was on here. This I got at Royal's. Office. No, these are Ikea. Um, these are home goods. This is just a chair that we've had forever and it kind of just gets like moved around. Watch out, don't pull that. I know. <laughs> For like birthday parties and stuff now, like <laughs> birthday present opening chair. Then it's this chair- the best rocking chair ever. Is the best, most comfortable rocking chair. If you are having a baby, it's Pottery Barn Kids. You need a comfortable rocking chair for those late nights where you can just, uh. Uh, so Pottery Barn and then- Guys, my confession, sometimes when I come up here and put the babies down for a nap, I'll sit down right here and pull my phone out and kind of text and hang out by myself about 20 minutes until Carrie's like, Derek, where <laughs> are you? And then I'm just like, Good to sorry, know. I had to put the kids down. Good to know. <laughs> confession. This cute little tapestry is from the same place as Royal's Lion, the Spain shop. So that will be in the description too. Here's the thing. This wall's bigger and this one's smaller. Those need to be switched. So Derek, what? Because this has been here for years, and then I got this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're the same exact colors. But I put it up here because I didn't want to like do that all. So, yeah. So the OCD and Kara's interior design. <laughs> I need you to switch those. Um, is going crazy. So I'll swap those. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the bathroom for the upstairs rooms. Simple double sink because we knew there might be at least two kids up here eventually. Let me know that there'd be more. Rugs are from, guess Tar where? Target. 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 We got a simple shower. Just a Just little. Just built-in shelves. Little shower and tub. We have a toilet for sometimes people have to use the, the toilet. <laughs> Nobody on that one, but that's why it doesn't get I used. actually love this. <laughs> guys, you guys. Kara, First off, Kara trying to work a gimbal is just straight up hilarious. <laughs> Literally hammer So shot. we're using a gimbal, which a lot of people probably don't know what that is, because I wouldn't oh, know. This just stabilizes the camera. I've had it forever and do I ever use it? We, we don't use no. it on our everyday vlogs. So, hi. But it's heavy. It's super heavy. You know with my condition right now. You guys have no idea how many times Kara's like, <laughs> I can't so... hold this any longer. And then I say, okay, you're being a little dramatic. It's not that heavy. And then she is not being dramatic. She's like, I literally can't hold it. So, sorry. Babe. I have low iron. It's really heavy. It is a heavy device. 
Um, but this is like my favorite countertop in the house. It's super cool, actually. Except it got stained. I, yeah. It's marble. I'm pretty sure it's like... This is marble. Which shows you why marble kind of sucks. It's stained. It's cracking. That's stained. I don't... It's like from a cup. But I love like the raw look of it. It looks really cool in the color, but not the greatest notes. Especially when the kids are actually... Ow. Oh, hold on. Um, we can take a, a pregnant break. Something jabbing me. Especially when the kids are actually using this bathroom, I feel like it's gonna get destroyed. Yeah, so and now they don't really use it. But who know who does use it? Bonnie and Chuck, when they come and stay. Yeah, except not anymore, because now we have downstairs. I know. Okay guys, we have to hustle. We are we go. going slow. <laughs> This is the playroom. This is above the garage room, but we made it into a playroom because it's such an awkward shape of a room, but it's perfect for a playroom. It's really deep. Pulls yeah, it's up actually here. a very big room. Yeah, like back up. I don't know. I almost made this my game room, but then I made a different room a game room. But anyway, this wall was gray, dark gray, like this color. Kara's like, I want to make it nude. So we just had um, one of the painter guys just while he's painting. It is not nude. That's not nude? No. Coral. What is this? Yeah, coral. coral. It's like a bright... Whatever it is, it, it made the room pop. It's just a cool accent wall. I just wanted to make it fun for the kids. Yeah, make it fun for the kids. Anyway. We do not have it like decorated really or organized in here. This is my bunny. Where did we get this? It was my cousins all growing up. They gave it to me for This the is the biggest bunny. So we have the toys. Yeah. This is the bed where... This is where my parents used to stay before we cleared out our downstairs because... This was my first bed when I... This is my first big boy bed. Yeah, this is his big After boy bed. Crib. I think when you turned two, he got this huge I bed. bed. <laughs> I think I fell out a few times, but it used to be all brown and Kara chalk painted it white. So Kara did this herself. I did. I gotta show him my favorite part of the bed. She's like, I can't hold it. Guys, my favorite part of this bed is the swan. No, I'm just kidding. These right here, there's finger, there's fingernail prints where I would dig my fingernail into these like this. And I did that all the time as a kid. I love having this bed in this house. I don't know where that heart came from, but. It's Oh, we store the treadmill up here. I wish I used that thing more. Um, I need to do more cardio. Yeah, so this room will be our next project after the girls' room. We have some fun stuff. I have like a hanging swing, like a yeah. macrame swing. And we have a swing that we want to put stuff in. for this room, but we just Whoa. have fun. couches. This is from Ikea, this shelf, and all those baskets go in there and they look really cute. But oh, yeah. let me tell you Ikea stuff. They suck. They <laughs> are not good. If you're going to put anything with any kind of weight in it, like toys, the bottoms, fall straight out. Yeah. Anytime the kids would pull it out, the bottom would fall out and all the toys will fall out. There's cloth ones they make that don't fall out. They don't look as good. I like yeah. these wood ones, but anyway. Or we can find some better wood ones, but just heads up, the Ikea ones are not the greatest, but the shelf is cute and it's very practical when you have it all like but actually it's served us well. <laughs> That's why they're like this right now. On to the next one. Now let's head downstairs. Dun, 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 dun. basement as a, an apartment so we could rent it out if we wanted to we've let people stay here and right now we have it as like a little guest suite down here and it's where I keep chat one collection stuff right now so this is our kitchen living room of kitchen our, living room of our apartment where I keep like a lot of the clothing desk work this is like her current launch Kara does things in like little mini launches so this is like her last launch and yeah I only have a few things left this um, is. Then I got really ambitious and ordered all of this stuff. Yeah, you guys don't even know how much. But how then many I got items. really pregnant and sick, so yeah. I haven't like opened it all and done all my pictures in it to post it. So I need to get on that. But so you guys, Kara has Chatwin Collection Boutique. You can follow on Instagram right here. But this I have so much <laughs> cute stuff coming, and I just I need to get. Kara was so soaked about this stuff, and it's been here for a while now because of that thing right there, yeah. that baby. Maybe this I'll just launch. Do some stock photos or something. <laughs> It's coming soon. And this is the kitchen. So we just did it kind of simple. Simple appliances, but all together. It's actually like a really cool kitchen for Yeah, it's really nice. For an like apartment. when my mom and dad come to stay, now they have like bedroom, bathroom. They have their own little <laughs> oh, sorry. Their own little fridge and kitchen area. So it's really nice to have guests over. So this is wood, real wood. We didn't show upstairs, but 
are gray. Yeah, jump back up here. For those wondering, this is tile and it's from Home Depot. It mimics like gray wood. It might be like a ceramic, but it's just so durable, can't scratch. We love it. And we got it from Home Depot seven years ago, so I don't know if you can find it now. Fun fact, um, I like to work out a little bit. This room is kind of funny because I love going to work out with my brother every single day, but when COVID hit and they shut down our gym and they said it's gonna be shut down for whatever amount of time, I kind of made an impulse decision and got a few things in here so I could work out at home. Oh, so <laughs> I've used it for a good solid two weeks and then the gym's opened back up. It's been nice because there are times when I don't have time to go to the gym, so I'll come down here for like 20 minutes and get like a quick pump. So got this, from Bowflex, this thing. These are my favorite dumbbells ever because um, you can adjust the weight. <laughs> I want to see some good form. No. <laughs> so you can adjust the weight on these things. They go up to 55 just by turning these dials. Changes the weight. And to that mirror? Because this is the mirror that was above our fireplace. It's Huge. insanely heavy. Z Gallery. Yeah. This mirror, we took it down. And this was and Derek's purchase. I love he, this He like mirror. wanted this mirror at Z Gallery so bad. So when, when Kara put the moose head above our fireplace up there, she wanted to sell this and I said, no way. We brought it down here and it served <laughs> perfectly for the little mini gym. So come work out with me later tonight. Okay. So this is the apartment bathroom and what's cool about the apartment is it has its own entry It's a daylight apartment. So it's not underground our basement ground you walk level. Out on ground level And then it has its own sidewalk and parking, parking spaces space. So you'll so. like never if we rent it out or when people are staying here They don't have to go through our house. So we don't like see them. I mean when people are staying here We do see them. We want to see them, but well people that stay here. Yeah, the family yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can Get in and out um, Bathroom this is it. So we got the double Little double sink. Sinks. I like these things. They're like the pedestal sinks. <laughs> like they're kind of old fashioned. Yeah. Um, and then toilet, shower, closets. I think the shower has, let's see. Is it, yep, it's the same built in. I like these built in ones. It's really easy to just store stuff. This is what would be the guest bedroom. People are staying here. Fair room, but we've made it the bounce house room. <laughs> so. That's what this thing is. We'll show you. Trust me, we use this we every. Just pull out the bounce house. Single day. When it's warm out, we have the bounce house in the backyard, but now that it's snowing, we have it in here and it fits perfectly and the kids just go wild. That was our first bed that Karen and I had, remember? This is our very first bed and with a closet. And then another perk of staying with us, if any of you would like to come visit, you get your own washer, washer and, dryer. and dryer. The price is right, you are the winner. So, washer and dryer. But the best part of this room is- And the best part. Definitely. We'll leave this here if you want to include it in your stay. But you want to know the best part? Hold on, I've waited all vlog to do this. Tell us, mom. Tell us, mom. Never gets old, ever, ever. Okay, show us the button, babe. Hit the Button. Well, you have to un- The button's been pressed. There it is, you guys. The bounce house. So, kids love it. They go in, come in here, they hit a slam dunk, they go up, they climb the rock wall, and they come down the slide. And you got that from Amazon. So you search for it. It's called Best Party Bounce House. It looks like this. This thing has provided hours of play. It's been like our best investment yet. Four kids and one on the way. It's kind of crucial. <laughs> Yeah, it's to keep them busy so for a few hours. They will play on it for hours. They have so much fun and it wears them out. Through this door, we have our warm and cold storage where we keep like decorations. Basically. Yeah, but it's super deep. It's like, yeah, it goes way back there and all this the is ride. all our warm. And then back there's all of our cold storage. So, so much stuff we put back there. And this is without question, probably the most cluttered part of our house, but it's okay. It's always full of boxes. This is the, the merch station. Well, we got all the chat fan merch in here. This is all chat fan What we have merch. left of the old stuff, just loaded up on the new stuff. Hey, you know what? Let's do a quick, go use code house tour to get 15% off your order. All I'm gonna say real quick, I'm just gonna address this. We just made this logo. So many people, and I mean so many, could not see how there's a C and an F <laughs> in this. And that was, I love that because I want it to be subtle enough that you could, once you know it's there, I want it to be a triangle. It has like a lot of meaning. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys real quick, right here. This is the logo, okay? This is the logo with the C on the bottom. The C is the middle and the bottom part. That's the C, see it now? So there's the outlined, and then here's the F. So, right there. So it has a C and an F. 
You guys have no idea how hard it was to put a C and an F in a triangle hidden somewhere, but now you know. So now that you guys know, go buy some merch. 15% <laughs> off, code house tour. So we have the merch stuff. I keep boxes of stuff that I really like. So when I built my computer, I kept a lot of the boxes. Hoarder, this is part of his hoarding habits. Cool. And this is my salon area. Yes, yeah, this area right here. Let's turn the light on. It used to be just a bump in salon. So this is where I would do eyelash extensions on people. You could come and lay on my table, get your eyelashes done. We have a big mirror over here. Some big lips. The big lips. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. Royal got to this. Oh my gosh, that would be Gemma. Oh, That's Gemma. Handwriting. That's her handwriting. Oh, she probably wrote something. He's probably signed her name. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, but Carrie used to do eyelashes down here. She uh, and that was pre-babies. So yeah, I was. I stopped while I was pregnant with Gemma, I think. And then we just have a half bath in here. Nothing cool. Just a simple bathroom. There's like if... actually not even a mirror. There's nothing in here. There's a mirror here. Well, yeah, a mirror that doesn't. We have a hung, I like this mirror. Up. Haven't hung it yet. Because how often do we use this bathroom? Not often. Sometimes if I really have to go and I'm gaming. So I'm gonna show you the next room. We have this fun little underneath the stairs uh, room, has a half door. So we planned that for when we had kids, they could come and play down here, but it's kind of just been a little storage room right now. Has two little windows for them to look out of. We have an extra crib. That was Gemma's toddler's bed, toddler bed. And we actually need to get out one of those. Those are the bassinets for the strollers for when the new baby comes. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the man pad. This is my boy room, so no phones allowed. No. So this is where this is our theater room. So we have a projector screen. Right there. This is where I come and hang out at nights. I edit right here. So either if I don't edit my office, sometimes I don't edit my office because it's too, it's just upstairs. I don't want to be loud when I'm playing stuff. I'll edit right here. Okay, so this is the computer I just built. I just got into playing PC games. I usually play console. So this is like our, this is my main TV that I love. 75 inch QLED. This is PS5 game. Yeah, I've been rocking the PS5. You guys saw when Kara surprised me with this baby. So I've been playing this a lot. It's been fun. It's a good release for after the day's over. For me, you know, Brandon Bingham, we all like to link up and play. It's a good release for us because we love to do it. This is my amazing shag rug. I love this thing. <laughs> I just come in here and sometimes I'll just lay down. Oh, so we, here's the thing. This used to be just a nice, cozy, comfy theater room with just a screen. Just this screen on the wall and the couch and the cozy and we had blankets and stuff down here. And then Derek took over and made it his like man gaming um well gaming room. Do I know how often we used it? Not too often. Anyways, I love this sign right here, Kara, from over here. I got my PlayStation hoodie. Oh okay. good. So Thanks, PlayStation. This is cool though. So this right here, this is the, the cement. This is the foundation from our house. So Yeah, that's the foundation of our garage on the other yeah. side. We left it this way on purpose. I just love that look. So our house isn't industrial, but that's my style. If I could have a whole house, it'd be all industrial. So that's kind of why we did this too. And these are real pipes that we bolted to the wall and we fed quartz to them. So this is what- They the look quartz. really cool when you can actually see them. Yeah, but they're covered. They're but all covered. Here, this is my PS5 box, my Oculus. Guys, this is the- this is what There he did. is, hoarding boxes. This is when we- when I buy something I really like, I keep the box. Are you guys the same way? But no. me and Brandon Bingham have been playing, and Dylan have been playing VR almost every night now. It's blowing our minds. Echo VR, it's blowing our minds. It's like- This is a house unreal. tour. Anyway, <laughs> you guys, I have a gaming channel. It's Daddy D Gaming. It's right here. I'm extremely lazy on it. I haven't posted in maybe over a month or two. But I'm gonna start posting some more, so go follow if you like games. But we hit the chords through here. I love the sign. So this says, do what you love. I think that's very important in life. Obviously, do in moderation, but I like to game. I like movies, I love visual art. These are nano leaves, so they change colors and you can program them to any color. Probably one of the coolest things in this room, honestly. I got some there, just got some art. The Beatles <laughs> sign, oh my. Got that in Mexico. I we, love, love I the Beatles. Were we married like one month? Maybe. And then we got this couch. Hey, show them that's cool about that couch. So Kara's just gonna we lay back. We got this couch at Costco. Yep, years ago. And that one reclines, but both ends are Client, yep. and then it has like drink holders and phone chargers. It has phone chargers in there. It's just such a practical couch, I love it. And then we painted the ceiling black, so it makes this room really dark, and I really like that too. I wish that we could show this room like before when it was just like a cute theater room. I mean, there's not and much after. different, it's just- Yes, it is. Yes. I added all that. <laughs> 
It doesn't take up that much space, and though. And you covered all the walls with, like, neon things. Yeah, I covered the walls with cool lights, because we like light. Anyways, that's the room. Follow me on Daddy Gaming if you want to see more of this room. Oh, lastly, I put these little green things in here. <laughs> I really like those, all right? You guys like my little plants down Great there? Great design, Derek. Thank you. Great design. I did it myself. <laughs> all right, on to the next one. Amber has been helping with the babies so that we could film this whole house tour. My amazing sister. Love you, Amber. We now they're back, and they had some chicken nuggies. So now our house is not going to be clean anymore. Yep. Hi, guys. Chicken. Chicken. It's okay. Hi, Milo. Oh, they're playing dragons. So, Kara, we have two more rooms. <laughs> now we have the trips in here, and you can see the chaos that ensues in our house. It's Hi. It's oh. Jules. Is that Jules? Is that chicken? Is that chicken? You guys are so funny. They feel like they oh. oh. What sound does a dinosaur make? Roar. What sound? Can you go roar? We uh, have a short intermission from the house tour as we did the babies. Whoa, so we'll there's see you guys in a second. Woohoo, uh, hi boy! <laughs> Yes. And it's we have these so many barn hours. doors. It's kind of cool. So Derek's dad, when he was building a house, and they got these barn doors, and then they changed their minds, so he just gave them to us. Like they had already bought them, and then yeah, they didn't so want them anymore. Extremely heavy. Yeah. It just slides massive. open. So open got, up the doors. We got hooked up with these barn doors. Don't forget the baby lock. <laughs> I had to scoot this out of the office. This was Kara's Christmas present. We were storing it in there, so now we can go into the office. This is going in our room. It's the same as that one, just a little bigger. Some of you might ask the size of this, just for reference, it's 65 inches. This is, this is the, the office. office. <laughs> <laughs> can I do that again? Okay, one, two, three. This, this is, is the office. office. <laughs> Come on, you can show both those. Can you do it Kay. again? No, no more. <laughs> So babies are sleeping and they are above our heads, so we don't want to wake them. <laughs> We're finally getting the last room. Last out room. Of the house tour done, you guys. Mama's ready for bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> here is Derek's office. So I wanted to get like a really cool leather couch right here. I found it at Home Goods. Didn't buy it in time. Someone else snagged it. So then Derek was gonna just order a couch online, and it ended up being kind of miniature. This is super <laughs> small, like but I put it in here anyways. I don't use it too often, but I did kind of wish we got that nicer one. Oh, baby. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a miniature couch, and then we have these poofs that are from Target. They've kind of been all over our house. You've Target. probably seen them in the living room before. I got this rug at a home decor store that's local. I don't remember. It's real high, it's, I think. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. Faux hide. Faux not hide. Real. Very cute touch. They even have ones at Ikea that are like pretty cheap too that are got these at home goods home <laughs> so like goods. all my pictures are from home goods they're actually really cool horses i like these yeah, pictures a lot i saw them just sitting there I'm like those would be like perfect colors for his office and we have the horses in the back arrows we got at home goods this is home goods derek where'd you get this my salt lamp i amazon? love this thing um i don't know you got it on amazon i just love it's really dark but i love salt lamps all right 100 000 subscriber oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry the light's reflecting hardcore there's when we hit 100 000 let's make it a Million, you guys, let's go. And these are from Hobby Lobby. This is from Gemma. Grandma Susie and Gemma made oh, yeah. it. Yeah, that's Gemma's feet. For your right Father's there. Day. Love. And then, if you didn't know, oh, Derek geez. was in a show and he won three <laughs> different categories. <laughs> this is the overall. Like he he only got ready for the show, like it was a fitness show competition. He got ready for it for like a month, maybe six weeks max. And then he like went and just won it all. It was actually pretty incredible. Um, oh wow, thanks Sarah. It's really, they want, the lights doing weird things in here. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, it's really dark. Well, but when I brighten it up, look at that. Those like are his trophies, they're <laughs> so funny. Is that daddy up there? <laughs> this is what guys, I've edited many vlogs right here. Late nights, late nights, all nighters even. Got my phone charger that I love. I love this lamp. Don't know where I got it. Online. Okay. 
Oh, Target. Probably Target. Got this thing. I don't yeah. know. Oh, her friend gave her this thing. He made it. He made it. And then this wall. I love this wall. Yeah, this wall is really cool. It's just just slate it's rock. Fun. Yeah. Derek really wanted to do like a rock wall behind yeah. his desk. What? Dude? And it looks There's really two good. things I wanted in this house, you guys. I wanted a wall like this, and I wanted concrete somewhere. And the concrete we got in in the theater room. So I'm all the way to the top. Oh. I'm gonna sit down and do some business. Um. Uh, hi, Kara Chatwin. How can I help you? Oh, baby. We're you guys, after that hours is tonight. it. Okay, guys, we have one last spot, and it's the deck. <laughs> we spent a lot of time out here. So, oh, we got a cactus up here that um is growing ah. like a weed. Oh, you guys room. are We're cute. Almost done. Okay, guys, this is our deck. We finally finished. Put some stuff on it as we've been living here, but the hot tub, which. Oh, Kara and I just love a good hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> this is a necessity when you're a married couple, trust me. <laughs> um, there's nothing better than just hanging out here. <sighs> you can see our breath. <sighs> I know, it's cold out. But it feels good right here. Nothing better than hanging out, watching a show, or just doing some s'mores. Yeah, so, our couches are in a very weird position right now. <laughs> well, they're not. This we one is usually... Move. We should have moved them for the vlog. We didn't move these. These uh, these are winterized. We pushed them close. Yeah. But these are from Target. Kara found them. Yeah, like all the pillows, the couches, this chair over here, all from Target. Where is the fire pit from? We got this fire pit. It's an elementy fire pit and it's gas. So we actually had a guy come in and install, drill a hole up to put a gas line so they don't have to have propane. But we got it from, I think, Lowe's or Home Depot. They both were Wayfair. It was online. <laughs> All those places sell elementy fire pits. So normally we have this couch is there and then this couch comes over on this side. Yeah. And then we have a TV out here too. So when we're hanging out, watch TV, we can hot tub. Now we can watch the kids jump on the tram. Watch the kids jump. Yeah, we usually move this chair over here. Yeah, it's kind of winterized right now. It's such a fun and cozy spot. Like in the summer, we have so many so fun warm. nights out here. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Come you got on. crazy hair, Gemma. So, you guys, that concludes yeah. the Chatwoods House Tour 2020. The last day. It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's tomorrow. So we did it. We pulled it off. Hope you guys liked it. We will be bringing you updated room for oh, Reese and Red when that's done. But what would you guys think of the house? We lived here for seven years. It's home to our, all of our babies. They are all were born here, so it's special. We'll stick here a while. We love yeah. you, chat fam, and we gotta do some shout outs. Oh my goodness. You guys, we made it to the end. High five. <laughs> That took That was a full day's all work. Day. Just between getting the babies ready and oh my goodness. If you made it this far, we love you because this vlog has to be very long. It's gonna be long. I've gone through three batteries and that never happened. So it And might be our long. house has never and will never look like this again. Nope. Like our house is not don't don't let this fool you. <laughs> well I mean it's not insane, but it's never Well it's this. always just messy with toys and baby clothes and yep. baby blankets and bottles and you know, normal children things, family things. Man, it's felt really nice. It's so thank you so guys. Nice. Oh, real quick, during the house tour, I was talking to Brandon Bingham. It's actually kind of funny because it had to do with this merch. So just real quick, I'm just gonna say, a lot of you guys have said that this looked very similar to this is Howie Bingham's logo, Brandon Bingham. So you guys know, Brandon and I are like best friends and we talk <laughs> all day, every day. Like all day, And he was day. involved from day one on choosing this logo. So he was involved the whole time. I ran everything by him. We picked out a hundred logos. I was going through all of them. Like, which ones do you like the best? We decided on this one. So he was involved the whole time. Other than being a triangle, it's wildly different. It really is. I mean, this is theirs right here. So you guys can see. <laughs> In fact, Brandon even, this is the text he sent me after right here. You guys can see after we launched the merch. So he was involved the whole process. So I love you, B. No, we didn't copy their logo. They're both triangle, triangular. Theirs is angles, ours is straight line. It's not the same. But those that said that, <laughs> we did not copy them. Very inspired by the Binghams. I love Brandon and Mindy and their family so much. Go follow the channel if you're not. That being said, now that you guys can see the C and the F, head over to the store and grab some merch to support the family. And use code, what's the code? House tour. House tour for 15% off. We also like chose like the three bars and then the triangle because there's the three points because try the triplets try and triple three. They really are what started our channel, launched our channel, and why we have a channel. So yeah, so we, we would we wouldn't like have, represented them. It's like the start of our YouTube journey. We wouldn't have YouTube if it wasn't for the triplets because that was like the anomaly 
crazy weird thing that's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, Kyler was like, you guys have yeah. something that like people will be interested in and like don't have yeah. and want to see. Triplets coming. So get, Kyler, it, get on that. <laughs> Kyler Fisher said, dude, start a channel. That's yeah. interesting. People want to see like the growing baby bump and whatever in, in your life with triplets. So try three, three bars. Anyways, so that's why, that's the symbolism behind this logo. So now you guys will know the reason why we chose this. And Brandon was involved the whole way and we love the outcome, so. Thanks you guys so much for your support. We're gonna give you two quick shout outs and then you're going to bed. I don't care what time it is, just go to bed. That's where we're gonna go. Yeah. My shout out goes to Millie Escobar. Thank you for my Hocus Pocus shirt. Millie, <laughs> and you're amazing. And she got some cute little dollies for the girls. Thank you, we appreciate you. So, thanks for being so part nice. of the chat, fam. So nice. And my shout out goes to Megan Sill. So Megan drew oh, yeah. this picture of our family over here and it was, it's awesome. So I want to give her a shout out because she didn't have to do that and we loved it. So thank you so much, Megan. Thanks for being part of our family. We love you too. And all you chat fan members, if you're new here, cheers. cheers. This new. is not wine. This is pomegranate juice to help with my iron levels. Chat fam, we love you guys. Thanks so much for making it to this party. If you guys made it the entire video without skipping any, I want to see a star, a star emoji in the comments. We want to know who you are, who stick for the, who stuck around for the whole thing. This might be over, this might be close to an hour. It could be, who knows? I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be one of our longest. My baby's kicking really hard. Kira's baby's kicking. Go. My baby. That wraps up the official Chatwin house tour. 2020. 2020. We made it. My one. Literally. The last right week. now, guys, it's 1030. So we have an hour and a half. Uh, oh, wait. Right, sorry. No, that's going up tomorrow. Yeah. I was thinking tonight was no. New Year's Eve. My yeah. bad. Oh, happy New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. Be safe. We will be in this house with all of our kids and probably watching our niece too. What are you guys going to be doing? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. And we'll see you next video. See ya next year. XOXO.